Australia was built on the sheep's back. It all started in 1796 when John MacArthur from New South Wales bought a couple of Merino sheep from a flock of Merino sheep in South Africa. The Australian wool industry developed because of the Industrial Revolution. The industry has thrived because of vast grasslands, water from artesian wells, the cool and dry weather, modern methods of sheep farming and wide market facilities. Australia is one of the world's largest wool producers and exporters producing around one quarter of wool sold on the world market. The value of Australian wool exports in 2021-22 was $3.6 billion. Australian wool is among the world's best. There is a strong global demand for Australian wool. In an effort to learn more about the history of Australian wool, I landed up at the National Wool Museum in Geelong, the second largest city in Victoria, Australia, 75 kilometers southwest of Melbourne. The National Wool Museum tells the Australian story of wool, fibre and textiles. It was inaugurated in 1988 by Queen Elizabeth II as part of the Australian Bicentennial Celebrations. As you enter, on your left, you can see the names of the wool factories, the wool counts and stages in wool production. The photographic exhibition come out of London and it's got a hundred of the best photos out of 40,000 they took for the competition. Next level up, talk about the farming side of the industry and also the manufacturing. On this side is the manufacturing where we've got something like all the, all the machines which process wool into a fabric. And right at the very top of the building is an exhibition about this building. It's a, 150 years old last year and I put an exhibition together showing the progress of the building and a little bit about the Geelong history. I could see a spinning wheel in action and have a conversation with the lady at the spinning wheel. This is from a merino but it was a coloured one as opposed to a white obviously the majority are white. This was a coloured one, which was really nice. And, it and the actual fleece came from South Australia. Next was a tour of the living quarters of those that lived at the sheep station. Traditionally, wool sheds were the domain of men. In the past, men would say ducks on the pond to warn male shearers that there were women in the shed but now this has changed sheep farming is not without challenges mainly it's, it's the summertime that you worry about where that's the time when most everyone else has holidays <laughs> but to us it's not a good time not weather wise if you have a nice heavy rain in the middle of summer, it's likely to produce humidity, which isn't great either for the wool situation, because that's when you do get the, um, the blowflies and the, they love the moist tool. The fire came through the Cressy district in 1977. It burnt most of our fences, most of our stock, our hay, 
shed. Didn't do our house, it just disappeared around our house. No one knows why it went around our house, but it did. That was a very traumatic time. That's when it gets very extreme when you have years and years of drought. As a kid, um, I was watching my dad, we had a drought, and it was just amazing to watch him dancing in the rain, uh, hitting the path, the big drops, and it, I just remember it was very hot, and it was, he was so jubilant. You can't just say, oh, I'm a wool grower, unless you've got a very big property, you've been there for a long time, and it's all well established, but as a mixed farm, you need to diversify so that you can have more than one egg in the basket, I suppose. Wool is a renewable, biodegradable and flame resistant fibre. Australia's wool industry invests heavily in sheep health and welfare and sustainable land and social resource management. Seaweed is fed to Australian sheep. This eliminates methane or greenhouse gas emissions. Sheep grazing among solar panels keep grass and weeds away. Hate lawn mowing? Get sheep to graze on your land. Check with council first. Did you hear about the wool bale that fetched one million dollars and who's the man on the Australian fifty dollar note? But then the meeting went on and on and on and I got up to the a million dollars and when the news got across the road and they got after the sale and went up. The guard, he was a different man, he was at attention and he couldn't get within 10 minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Booking the sales, uh, so they're selling up the three hundred boxes. They are bang, 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 bang. You've got to be on your toes because they're going to say that they did very quickly. Tried to buy them all as cheap as they could. David Unaipon, the man on the Australian fifty dollar note invented an improved hand tool for shearing sheep among other inventions coming up in australian wool story part two australia's only axminster ripper loom interview with textile expert ray a traditional australian wool factory and stages in wool production Stay tuned, stay subscribed, like and comment. Bye for now.